Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to set up Windows XP Home Edition 32-bit on VMware Workstation 16 Pro. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, basically, um, let's just get started right away. So first, what you will need is VMware Workstation 16 Pro, um, which can be downloaded from the official VMware website on Windows and Linux. And then once you do that, you need to download the Windows XP ISO and the key as shown over here. So I have the ISO and the product key is just a text document over here. So now what we need to do in the VMware workstation is click on create a new virtual machine, select typical, click next, click I will install the operating system later so that we can actually configure the setup. Um, select Microsoft Windows and select um, Windows XP Home Edition. Click Next. We'll leave it like that. And um, if you want, you can leave it at the default, but I have a dedicated space for it. So I will put it in there. Oh, whoops. Um, just give me a sec. Sorry, guys. Um, I figure I forgot I need to create a new folder. Okay, so I just made a new folder. So I'll just go into that real quick. You can just leave it as the default and then click next. I will change it to 20 gigabytes and then click next and then click customize hardware. And uh, I don't know how much memory um, Windows XP Home is supposed to have. So what I'll do is I'll just check that again. Okay, so I just found out that it supports four gigabytes. I have eight gigabytes in my um, host computer. So just give it four and it only supports one process. So we'll leave it like that. And what we need to do is we need to click on this new CD DVD and then click on use ISO image file and then click browse over here and then search for your ISO, which in my case I have over here. Again, the link is in the description. Once you're done, click close and then click finish. Once you're done, click power on this virtual machine. Wait for it to start and it should get us into the setup. Okay, so now it's just going to quickly um, set up all of the things for the, it's loading files as you can see down here. Unfortunately, I can't zoom it in, but um, hopefully you'll be able to see good enough because this is a large monitor. And by the way, the wallpaper on mine will look stretched. That's actually what happened with my professional one because I have a weird monitor. But in your case, if you have a proper one, then it shouldn't really matter. I'm just gonna put the Okay, so once it's done, you need to click inside of the blue box and then click enter. Press F8 to agree, or if you want, you can press page down to read if you like, but I agree. Um, and then unpartition space, just click enter to install it and uh, do the um, one that it's on, NTFS file system normal, just click enter and it will format. It might take a few minutes or um, like half a minute, depending on the size of your disk. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fast forward this part. Okay, so now it's done and now it should start installing, I think, and then it'll start the setup. So, okay, so this might be a very quick and now it's going to, as you can see, it's listing the files to be copied. And as you can see on the bottom right corner, it does have which files it is copying. So once again, I will fast forward through this part. Okay, so now it's done, <clears throat> excuse me, and um, I forgot to tell you that there might be some problem with the microphone, so yeah. So, 
I when I set up the professional one, this thing took a little long, long, but it looks like in this one it didn't. So when you come up on this screen, then just click enter. And since we don't have a floppy, we don't need to remove anything. So just click enter to restart and it'll restart. And then it'll drop us into the Windows XP setup and you should see the boot logo very soon. Yep, there you go. Nice. So that's the first step of the installation done. Now we are going to go into the GUI um, setup and soon we will need the product key. As you can see, it looks kind of tiny, but like just go with it. Um, so as you can see, it, it looks like the Windows 98 one. If you watch that video, um, like all of this stuff on the side and everything. Um, and also the reasons why Windows XP in this case is really nice. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause here and I think what's going to come next is the configuration. So I will see you then. Hopefully it isn't too soon. Okay, so now we need to set it up. So as you can see, it says setup will complete in approximately 33 minutes, but it won't be that long. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, over here, we can just click next. If you want to change anything, you can. Actually, I might change my location. Actually, no, it's good. Sorry. Uh, I'm just go change my country. You don't have to change it. I don't think there's any point anyway, but I just like to change it because I'm going to be using this Australia and OK. And then click Next. I'm good, just going to type my full name. Don't worry about organization. Um, and then click Next. And this is where we will need the product key. So what, we, what I will do is I'll just make it go up here and uh, I close the Explorer. So I need to bring it back up again. Just um, getting it up and okay, so this is the key. So hopefully it'll work because I haven't tested this. If it doesn't work, I will pause the video and try to find a better one. But the, um, the correct one will be in the description so you don't have to see me trying it out. Okay, I hope that's correct. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, so that one's correct, and uh, we can go in back into full screen. Um, it's okay if you're doing this if it's just for personal use, using the product key. I mean, like, this is for me, I'm just using it for educational purposes. So just name it whatever you like. I'm going to name it Windows XP. Um, I'm going to change my time zone. Uh, okay, and then click Next. And now it should continue. Like I said, this thing is not actually accurate. Like we, I gave it four gigabytes of RAM, so that should make it go much quicker. So as you can see, it's counting down like seconds. So, okay. Um, now what we need to do is, I'll just click next. I don't know what this is. Um, that should work. Um, and uh, I think that's good. And by the way, I, um, there might be a second part of this video, which is activating Windows XP through phone because um, I would have activated it through the website, but you have to activate it through phone. So I might make a video on that and it might be pretty fun because I'm going to literally call Microsoft to ask for a um, activation key, which is going to be pretty fun, hopefully, if that ever does happen, but you will know. I'll have that in the description if you want to watch that and if it's released. So as you can see, it says it's installing start menu items and uh, you can just let it run through this. As you can see, now it says 19 minutes. I'm pretty sure it'll only be five to 10 more minutes or even less maybe. Okay, now it should be done, and yes, now it is probably restarting, and now it should drop us into the OOBE. 
So just let it do its thing. And as you may see, as you may have seen, it may have gone really fast, but it did go down pretty quickly. The time I'm pretty sure it only took maybe two to five minutes for me. It depending on you um the amount of RAM you gave it, it might differ, or even the um type of storage you have. I have a HDD which I'm storing it on, so that might also make a difference. Okay. Um. Oh, that's much better. Okay, so it is it, like it, at least it made it a little bigger. When we install VMware tools, it'll make it fill up the whole screen. So just wait for it to start up, and then it should drop us into the OB. Okay, almost done. Hopefully, yep. Okay. Um. The sound probably sound it probably sounds like that because we haven't really installed VMware tools, so it may not sound that good. But as you can see, I got this little guy. Um, let's just try this just for once. So just click next over here. Um, just select this. It isn't really gonna matter because there's no more updates. But just select that and then just click next. Wait for it to load. Okay, just wait for it to do that. I am connected to the internet, so it should say that I am connected. Uh, yes, select that and then click next. Um, I'll activate it later. Uh, I might do that in the next video. Um, my name, I will just say my name. Then click next. The sound is very distorted, probably because we haven't installed VMware tools. But now it should say hello. Yep, that's what I said. Not very pleasant. Like, it sounds better on a normal computer. But when we inst hopefully, I really hope. So, as you can see, we can see the iconic bliss wallpaper, I think it's called. And uh, so everything is set up now. I uh, wonder if there's that activate Windows thing. I just want to see if it's there so then I know if I need to create another video about it. Ah, here it is. Yes, okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I am going to make another video on how to activate Windows using the product key. So basically now what we can do is we can install VMware tools. So now what we are going to do first is go up to the top of the VMware workstation, click VM, and then click install VMware tools. It should start automatically. If it doesn't, then we'll just um, start it manually. Just wait. Okay, there you go. So like I said, when I install it, it'll look very stretched because I um, I have a very stretched monitor. As you might have seen in some of my other videos, it may not have fit on your YouTube, but I might, yeah. So just wait for it to install. It won't take that long. Um, what I might do is I might just move the recycle bin up the top here because I like it like that. Um, Wait for it to copy new files. And then after this, you can just have the fun that you wanted with Windows XP. And that's why you came to this video. I'm also going to uh, take a snapshot of it because um, in case I mess it up or anything, which is what you should also do. And as you can see, there is a warning down here, which says that we need to activate it. it after 30 days, I'm pretty sure it does not let us in. I think it will say that you need to activate it. So. I think I will make it very soon after the creation of this video. <clears throat> I don't know if that made it bigger or not. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. As you can see, the wallpaper is very stretched. It does not look very pleasant, pleasant honestly. But <clears throat> I might use the, one of those grid ones. So now what we need to do is we need to restart it for the changes to take effect, which it will say in just a few seconds. I don't know why it hasn't said that yet. It's supposed to say that. 
Okay, yep, there you go. So just click yes and then let it restart. And then once you're done, that is basically it. That is your Windows XP set up and ready for you to do whatever you want it. If you if you want to use this, if you wanted to only use this for like just a few days, then I wouldn't really activate it because for me that's just a um, not necessary. But if you're planning to use this for educational purposes for more than a, um two weeks or so or three weeks, um, then I would recommend activating it, which you can follow in the following video, which I will also use my phone. Hopefully, I can find a way to put it on the computer screen so then I can show you. Um, how to do it, and it might also be pretty fun. So, as you might have noticed, there's no password in the OBE, so I'm just going to quickly do that. You can um, skip this part if you're done now, but I'm just going to quickly do this. User accounts. Uh, change my create a password. Okay, so I'm just going to create a password, which for me is just a pin, really. So I'll just say my hint is passcode and uh, no, I won't do that. And then that's basically it. So that is, um, that is Windows XP, Windows XP Home Edition, built version 5.1, um, Service Pack 3. So um, thank you for watching and hopefully you'll check my next video if you want to activate Windows XP or even if you don't want to, just for fun maybe. But again, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.